we shifting gears, baby. So yeah, cheers to that. <laughs>
But for now, I'm just going to get started with getting me a cup of iced coffee to start my day. Because I have errands to run. And um, I'm going to need that energy. Because I be burning out halfway through. I be like, I be like, you know. And then I just start getting sluggish. And I'm like, yo, I'm tired. You know? <laughs> I'm tired, boss. Make me some breakfast. Man, I'm gonna make me some breakfast. I'm thinking a fried egg on top of a bagel with some vegan sausages. Oh, y'all, I just let me put y'all on. When I say I've grown up on these, I grew up on these, but like. I don't like meat sausages at all. Turkey, I don't eat pork for one. And then for two, turkey sausages, they be like, they got an out the taste. They don't be that good at all. But these things right here, these are totally vegan, vegetarian friendly. I live with a vegan, if y'all don't know. And um, he's been vegan for a long time, my dad. So we've been doing and alternate and finding alternatives and we've been doing that forever and we found this years when i say years ago like i've been growing up on this since elementary school toaster strudel in my sausages okay i love these things so and i put my friends on they got sausage patties and they love them too so i'm just putting y'all on you know a non-meat alternative it tastes so much better than any sausage out there to be honest in my opinion but, um, yeah, I'm probably going to make me a fried egg, a bagel with some cheese, and then put some of these to the side so that I can get my day started because we have things to do, and I have things to tell y'all, and I have to talk to y'all. So let me just get this going and finish my coffee. Hey, Google, play Coffee Lockdown. Lockdown by coffee. Sure. Playing on YouTube music. Set that mineral protection to reflect the sun's rays. When the quarantine thing done and everybody's a stroke, yeah. I'm a boss part, take you on the boss part, yeah. I don't trust you. Yeah. Hey, fancy. Oh, your yeah, art's hate. Now, no vacancy. Last time, see a fun. So I'm in the car now Gonna head out to do some of these errands But I want to just bring y'all in on what's kind of my game plan for today So 
I don't know about y'all, and we could talk about this later, but Mercury Retrograde got me feeling away. And um, I don't know, I just came out of it like, I just want everything new to start over. Like, y'all, I pulled out so many clothes in my closet, I'm gonna show y'all, and I'm preparing for a garage sale, and I'm just like super committed to just out with the old and with the new like seriously so i have this really cool idea of how i want to redo my room because i've never put any energy into my room here at my parents house because the goal was to leave and the goal still is to leave but i'm committed to my goals on that end so you know i'm working towards that and i just feel like as i do that i might as well just kind of walk in my purpose when it comes to not even my purpose, like kind of manifest what it is I want just now, you know, like have my room be the aesthetic that I want to create that environment for myself to just motivate me and inspire me to get there. But like I said, we can have that conversation a bit later, but um, yeah, I want to make like this cute behind wall and I'm just going to have to insert a picture so that y'all can see what I mean. But it's going to serve as storage, but also backdrop, aesthetically pleasing, you know, look and feel. And I think that I've found my solution, and it's at Target. So I'm definitely going to pick up those today, and then I'll see what else I get into. So yeah, first off, I'm going to be Target, so let's go ahead and do that. Um yeah my car is so dark now because i finally got tint on this thing midnight finally got tint and it just makes for in here even darker when i'm trying to vlog so oh i look a little lit up there and i look so bald but like i got a bun back here with my cute little scrunchie okay i look cute today can y'all see it like i'm giving you know natural face oh my god my face had been breaking out Y'all, I'm trying to get that back together. Y'all don't even understand. Mercury retrograde was crazy. It was crazy. Y'all, I I thought I looked cute today, but I'm kind of giving not so cute. Like, ew. This right here is ridiculous. I don't break out, and my face was breaking out, y'all. Like, what is that? Go, like, it's already been messed with and popped, but like, okay, now, why are you just there? Like, distracting as hell. I'm sure y'all can't even focus on me because y'all focus on this damn thing down here. Felt like it was less. I probably should have put on makeup. What the heck? Okay, I put some mascara on. I feel like that really helped. I don't have that many lashes. Like, my lashes is not that thick or prominent. So, it be making my face look bald. But, okay, I put some mascara on. I tie my hair back down. Living in the South with natural hair, it just does not give a F about you. And, like, what you trying to do, what you trying to give, what you trying to serve. The weather does not care about any of that. So... Um, yeah, we, I, I told you, you gotta love yourself, and I, I'm, we back, we back, we back. <laughs> Hi, y'all, that down it's definitely an investment but that's super cute okay so this is the bookcase i'm talking about i gotta be quick because they would do music copyright but yeah five show bookcase room essentials and it's 35 bucks that's so budget friendly 72 inches tall so it's gonna be really nice and tall yeah now i just need to see if they have 
freezing or if I need to go to another store. And um, also I need help getting it, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so good news, they have three and they're gonna pull them to the front for me. So I'm gonna pick those up on my way out. I think that's all I really wanna hear. But I can't come to Target and not check out the shoes. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. So I like these. My mom actually has these in white, but I see them in tan. And I'm like, would I use tan more or would I use white more? I don't know, I feel like the white are cuter than these. Like, if I wore these with this outfit, I would need the white. Target always has the cutest freaking bags every time. Like, okay. They understand the assignment. Target is not that anymore, baby. They are the place. People getting their groceries. They're getting their home decor. They're getting, they're getting. Y'all, so they about to bring me my. Those ladies over there are about to bring me my bookcases. Do y'all see them? They're right there. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's hot. But anyways, y'all, Target is the Chick-fil-A of these supermarkets. These um, grocery stores, baby, they are the Chick-fil-A, honey. They just had two kind ladies. First and foremost, I needed three shelves, only saw one. Got to the, um, you know, um, customer service desk, ready to help. Pulling up their app. Yep, we got 11 in the back. Let me call and bring it up. Okay, period, so I can go shopping next. Okay, cool, so did that, came back around. My, my my shelves are there, baby. They're waiting on me, okay? Um, Miss Lady pulled, she said, okay, we're gonna take you on this um, register over here if you wanna check out with the rest of your items. Yes, I do, yes, ma'am. So she took care of me on that too. Then, as I'm getting checked out, she already done called up the help so that when it come to put it in my car, they already know, okay? So they know my car, and, and they waiting outside on me, and then, Teamwork made the dream work. The ladies put it in my back seat. Like, 
Target. Yeah, I get it. I'm a, I'm a keep I'm a keep coming. I'm gonna keep paying a little up charge. <laughs> Cause you know Target don't have everyday lowest prices, but you can find a deal, but you 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 can't you you pay for you pay for your customer service and um that was amazing. I have to give it to them. Hey y'all. So I'm I just had the nastiest seafood I ever had like so disappointing um I go here all like I, I'm about to say all the time anytime I want seafood and I'm in Tampa this is where I go and I will say I've never gotten it taken out maybe once before but I will never do that again I'm really considering calling them and being like you know I don't want nothing from y'all but like don't slack on takeout it's the same food being made and every time i go and sit down it's bomb like i don't question nothing but today was disgusting like my shrimp is not even fully cooked like mm -mm. so uh, i think i'm gonna keep the shrimp so that i can do something with it or just put it like back on the stove whatever because like, i'm not feeling like that go to waste whatever yeah, so that was that. Um, I'm probably going to have to get myself something else to munch on a little later. But I'm all right for now. Like the legs, the crab legs weren't that bad, but they weren't the best. But the shrimp really took me like, like, how do you not get shrimp right? That's how I know, like y'all being lazy with the takeout. So, yeah, now I know they be playing with people's food when you do takeout. So now I know. But, um... Yeah, y'all, the last time y'all saw me, I was leaving Target. So I got my bookshelves, and I went to Play-Doh's after just to look around, see if I saw anything that I wanted. And I did cop, cop a, a, I did get a few things, and then I went to Ross. <laughs> Can't help it. But I honestly, like, went to Ross to look for organizational things for this purse wall accessory shoe wall that i'm going to be trying to do so um i also want to put like my perfume on there and like stage that really cute and nice so i was just trying to see if i saw anything i think i'm gonna use my jewelry on there too so i was just looking for like clear acrylic cute something and i did find one so i'm gonna show y'all what i got um yeah much really going on right now um I just a. I'm probably gonna pour me some wine. I need to take a shower. I want to take a shower though. I'm about to bathe, and then I'll show y'all what I got. And that's really gonna probably be it for this for today. Cause um, I'm a little tired. Like I was supposed to go to my brother's house, um, but that might be dead. I meant to tell y'all about my, um, what the heck? Tying up, huh? I meant to tell y'all about these wine glasses I got. So, I went to Tulum in, um, December of last year and Rosa Negra. Yeah, I think it was Rosa Negra. Yo, I've been running from a mosquito in my own home. <laughs> like, I don't even be downstairs because this mug is eating me alive, y'all. Every time I come down here, it finds me. And I be so close to getting it, and I miss it. So, like, I'm running from a mosquito in my home. That is just not the way to live at all. But anyway, so, like, I've been wanting those big glasses that they have for us. I just felt like it was the mood, it was the vibe. Like, obviously, I've been drinking only wine out of them right now, but I can drink water out of it. And it's actually acrylic. Like, these aren't even the real glass ones which i probably would want to get i didn't really realize that they weren't um glass or did i 
I think I might have figured it out, but they were, oh, shadow resistant. But anyways, they were like the perfect size. I was like, oh my God, that's what I saw in Tulum. So I had to get these. These are from Home Goods. They were $12.99. Tom, Tommy Bahama. But yeah, y'all, like this is just like, it just takes your wine drinking experience up a bit, I think. Um, and obviously it holds more wine. So you don't have to, you know, fill up your glass as much, I guess you could say. Um, because this baby holds a lot. Like you'll be pouring for a while. You'll be pouring for a while. So understand that it's a bigger glass. So don't be pouring it as like an original. But um Yeah, I told y'all I'm about to get me some wine, so so yeah. What? I'm talking so much? What do you want from me, Sebastian? And I feel bad because I'm not down here with him, but it's a mosquito down here. I can't, baby. I cannot. Oh yeah. I'm about to make me a little salad. I'm a whore for lettuce and tomato. Baby, you throw some pickles in there? Oh, it's a, it's a special occasion. I can have a side salad any time of the day. Anytime. I be trying to try stuff and do other stuff, but this right here is tried and true. So if I'm like hungry, I would boil some eggs. So that there's some protein in it. So that it's filling. But I'm just trying to top myself off right now. Because them crab lips were supposed to be satisfying. As, and they weren't. And I, I need to call them. Because it's like, no, I'm out of ranch. Oh my gosh, I didn't even put my groceries up. Yeah, all know I went to the Target. And then I've been getting this silk milk almond creamer, almond milk creamer, well, dairy-free almond creamer, caramel. This has been for my iced coffee that I was telling y'all. Have y'all made the switch from cow's milk to, you know, almond milk, oat milk? Have you done that yet? I definitely have. Dairy's not the best for me. So, I was happy to make that switch. It's just that cereal is not the same. Cereal is not the same, but it'll do. It'll do. It's like my cereal these days is just way more cereal than milk. I used to really like having a nice combination, but I just kind of need a little milk for my cereal these days. Just wet it, because it's not the same. Can't lie there. But yeah, my little Sally, this gonna do it right here. Your sis out here, I'm out here with nothing. Like my nail tech left me. She doesn't live in Tampa anymore. She moved back to Miami. So I don't have a nail tech, I don't have a lash tech. I don't have a go-to person for my hair. And it's just like, <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to get a lot of stuff worked back out. I'm trying to get back into routines. It's a lot going on right now for me. Not in a bad way. It's just like this is the first weekend I've had to myself to think about what I need and what I want to get done or I need to kind of get back into routine since I'm back in Tampa more full time. So it's just been that adjustment. I didn't think it would be so I want to say challenging. It's not a challenge. I just didn't think it would be so overwhelming a little bit because there's so much I want to do. But then I realized, like, when I left Tampa, when I did, it was to retreat, you know? So Tampa is not the place where I have the things I need. And, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't been that for me. So, but this go around, we're going to make it happen. I want to have routines. I want to you know have those relationships have my nail tech have my lash tech whatever the case may be i want to you know 
take care of my body. I want to splurge, like not splurge, but you know, really just take care of myself, invest in myself and not feel bad for it and put my money into different places. Like y'all know I'm real big on clothes, you know, like that makes me feel good. I love expressing myself through clothes. So again, dress is fun, but you know, we're not doing a lot of that and that's not every day. So I kind of want to pivot and really kind of invest into the quality of my living. So, you know, that mean that could mean facials, like it's it's on it's along the lines of like maintenance, you know, and just keeping myself up. Like I realize I've just been lazy. That's just it, period point blank. I mean finances and environments do matter but at the end of the day i've just been kind of lazy so i'm making it a priority like i'm just the priority in my life right now they said something happens when you turn 24 and i'm feeling it like <laughs> whatever it is i'm feeling it i've been purging like i'm getting rid of all my stuff in my closet redoing my room just really want to invest in the quality of my living even with the circumstances i'm in right now and you know they're not bad at all it's just not where i want to be but i can't complain so i just want to make the best out of what i have you know and invest in me put more of my money into me than items you know and develop routines Stick to them and just come into my grown woman being, you know. So that's what's really been going on in the mental space. So it's been a little overwhelming because it's like I want to do all these things, but I can't. I can't. I can't get my life together in one weekend. <laughs> so and that's really how I've been feeling because I took Thursday and Friday off to like jumpstart this weekend and get things done for myself and like think about what it is I want to get done for myself and just like have a moment to not think about anything else but myself for a, for a second because June has been hectic my niece is on the way I've had cousins birthdays aunties and uncles anniversaries like it's just been a lot Memorial Day before that I went to Puerto Rico for that my birthday was before that like it's just been boom 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 and so we have come to a smooth sale. Like, I'm actually like settled in 24 right now. Cause since turning 24 up until this weekend, it's been a lot going on. So I'm two months in 24 and I'm feeling every bit of it as far as, you know, where my priorities are and the things I wanna work on. So I told y'all we was gonna talk and that's some of what I wanted to share. So my channel is definitely going to be, you know, showing that self-care journey, taking myself out on dates, um, going to try the new food places, you know, try to build a little bit of a social life. Like I'm not too like, I don't have like, you know, I don't have to have it. I know where my social life is with my close knit friends and when we want to do something, we're going to plan it, we're going to do it. So I know like I'm not too worried about that, but I am going to try to get up and get out whether it's go try a new food spot you know go go to that mall that's way on the other side go to orlando to go shop at zara like just things like that um i'm on a self-care journey i want to get my routines together i want to invest in me and yeah like that's that's where i'm at and so i'm taking y'all along with me it's a work in progress, obviously, because like I said, I want to jumpstart all this this weekend, but there's no way you can do that. Like, I'm crazy. I'm crazy low-key. I have to talk myself down a lot because I'd be ready to go there. But I have to talk myself down a lot like, Jaya, like, now you're putting pressure on yourself to do this. Like, we're supposed to be eliminating pressure. We're supposed to just be shifting gears. We're not supposed to be revving up. We're supposed to just be shifting gears. I love that. That's a great analogy, shifting gears. We shifting gears, baby. So, yeah, cheers to that. <laughs>